I don't know what kind of noises bandicoots make. Hi everybody, it's Matt, and welcome back. We're gonna be doing Crash Crush as I Crash Crush as I promised. I cannot pronounce the title of this level. And I don't know, we might do one level in the next warp room after we defeat the boss of this one. I'm not really sure yet. They're at precisely 50 lives, that's pretty cool. Alright, if I recall, there is a branching path in this level, but it's not that bad. It requires a little precision, but not a lot. Alright, that's one down. Ah. Okay, thank god there wasn't like a pit right there or something. I would have fallen right in. Here we go. Alright, at least the camera's behind me again. That's always nice. And yeah! And that's really it. All that for two crates. And now we can continue on our merry way. Should have probably done the uh, slide spin there, but I didn't think to. Ah! Uh, okay. There we go. Nice. I think there are two more in this level? Probably two more. Ah! Uh, <laughs> nice. Just get as far ahead of it as possible. And fall right into the bonus stage. Cool. Just gonna grab a couple of these. Might as well. Now let's see, one of these bonus stages in these uh, running levels has some pretty well hidden crates. Or no, actually I'm thinking of a death route. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And of course, as with most of these uh, running levels, there's only going to be a crystal and a gem. There's the crystal. This is hopefully going to be the last one. The last boulder I have to run from. Alright. Not doing bad. Oh, wait, is this the one? Uh, this might be the level... I think this is the level where there is actually a uh, crate that I have to uh, body slam in order to break. Yeah, yeah it is. Ah, uh, kill me. Right at the end of the level, too. Alright. Not so bad, though. I think I can make this. I just have to be careful to hit all of those. And that should get me far enough ahead. Yeah. Alright, hopefully this won't be a problem. Uh oh! <laughs> I'm still gonna try to get all the boost pads. This should. Th this really isn't as hard as I'm making it look. It, it, it like it sounds complicated and it looks complicated, but it's really not as bad as I'm making it look. All right, here we go. The slide spin would probably help too. But... Oh no! Okay, I already know how this is gonna end. Yeah, there you go. I swear that totem was laughing at me. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more shot, and if I don't make it this time, I'll get back to you guys when I figure it out. Okay. Just a little further. Ah, uh, meant to slide spin there. Ah! Uh. Alright. Dang it, dang it, dang it, no, 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 no
Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, see you guys in like five seconds. <laughs> oh my god, really? Oh, so close, guys. So close. Ah, again! It was funnier the first time. Okay, if I die this time... Oh, I was gonna say... Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I broke the stage for a second because I didn't even see the boulder. <laughs> is it? Is it actually? Oh, wow. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I just want to see it for confirmation. Yeah, fuck you. Got my gem, got my crystal. And all that's left for us down here in the second warp room is the eel deal. So let's do that. There's going to be a hidden gem in there. I don't know how Naughty Dog expects you to get this next one, but it's okay. Don't worry, I'll show you how to get it. And I, I, actually, I was thinking of saving. I'm not gonna. The sewer levels in this game have great music, by the way. Like, I know I mentioned that the soundtrack in this game is a lot better, in my opinion, than the one in the first one. But seriously, the sewer music is great. That's not a pun, by the way. Shut up, Vinny. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Alright. So yeah, as you can see, there's electric eels in the sewers. I always thought there were alligators in the sewers, so... I don't know why electric eels, but whatever. According to myth, I mean. Not like I actually thought... Damn it! Okay. Cool. Alright, I'm probably going to need this mask, because I tend to screw this up. So you may be wondering, why are all these nitros here if there's nothing there? Well, you're actually supposed to clip through that wall. I don't know how they expected everybody to know to do that. Um, and actually, huge thanks to Digital Masterpieces for his Let's Play. That, that was how I learned about that. So... He's a, he's a long-time uh, subscriber of ours, he's a long-time friend of ours, always been very supportive of our videos. Ah, uh, and I would just like to give him a shout-out right now, because he's awesome. Uh, don't kill me. Okay. I actually don't know if there was anything along this route that I had to get. I don't think I hit any boxes along this path, but I'm going to try not to die just in case. Okay. Oh, dang it. All right. I'm pretty sure... Let, let's see what my uh, box count is. Nine. I'm going to assume that I... D yeah, okay. Okay, there's two over there, and then there's the one in the room with all the nitros. So, okay, now that makes sense. Okay, cool. So 12 is how it should be. There's nothing in that route that I have to get. So we're all good. Just going to hit that checkpoint right before I take on the, uh, the bonus stage. New life. Nice. I had 50 before. Seems to have dipped since I started this episode. Whoa, that was cool. Right, I didn't get that much from that bonus stage, but I got a lot of boxes. Yeah, looking at the timer on this episode, guys, I think I'm definitely going to do another... Um, I think I'm definitely going to do one stage of the third warp room for you. So this, uh, this episode probably won't end right after the next boss. Unless somehow I end up really screwing up this level and end up here for a while. Which I don't think... I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay. Ah. Uh. Alright. Uh. Oh no! Alright. It's okay, I'll get another life in like two fruits anyway. There we go. Just gotta go back in this room, get these out of the way.
Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking about screwing up because I think I might be slightly jinxing myself. Okay. my life counter will go up to 50 now. Yes. Awesome. Alright, now I got rid of all the nitros. Just got to avoid that guy. I think I can make this. Yes. Alright, not gonna bother with those. This part might... No, no, actually, no. There we go. Not too bad. And boom. All right, let's just prepare ourselves for another cutscene and then a really, really pathetic boss. Clear gem and the green gem. I think that gives us three colored gems. So we have three of five of those already. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You are your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between wolf rooms. Remember, I'm counting on you. Sure you are, buddy. Counting on me being really gullible. Alright, so guys, here's another uh, boss that never really recurred that much. This is the Komodo Brothers, Joe and Moe. And as it turns out, they were only in, I think, Crash Team Racing. They were in Crash Team Racing after this, and I think they were also in Crash Bash, and... They appeared in, like, photographs, I think, in Wrath of Cortex. Yeah, most of this boss fight is just standing still, really. Although, I mean, at least Mo over there looks like he's having a good time. Just gotta bounce into the beat. Ah, oh, come on, stop. Stop! Stop! Why isn't he stop? Oh, wow, I died to the Komodo brothers. Oh my god, how long did he spin for? I feel like that's not normal. <laughs> Alright, well, I died to the Komodo Brothers the first time ever, I think. That sucks. Alright, now let's see if he spins for so long this time. Alright, stop. Stop chasing me. Stop chasing me. Yeah, wow, he didn't go nearly as long that time. There we go. Yeah, he does look like he's having fun over there. I just always found that amusing, even as a kid. Alright, now Joe is gonna start throwing his sword at me. And they're dead. I love how I've died to both of the bosses so far, even though I said they're really easy. They are. I'm just kind of not good at this. <laughs> Alright, on to the next warp room. And I think there's a cutscene? There, there's probably a cutscene. We're not going into plant food, by the way. That's not going to be the level we enter next. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. But now is not the time to get cocky. Still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. The world is counting on me. All right, let's just get a quick look at our percentage while I save the game here. We're 35% of the way through the game. I think this is episode four already, and we're more than, um, yeah, we're more than a quarter of the way through. Let's see, we got unbearable, and we have bear down. 
I think both of these have secrets, actually, so I'm gonna go to Bear Down. I just, I don't want to do plant food right now. That's all I'm gonna say. Which is one that I think we'll have to backtrack to anyway. Actually, why did I choose this one? Alright. Yeah, the polar bear also has a little charge that you can use if there's like a big gap in your way. Like so. Not that that was a really big gap, I was just, you know, giving an example. And we're back to 50 lives, which is nice. Although, like I said, I'm doubtful whether I'll actually reach 99 again. But it's... it's always a possibility. Okay, yeah, you gotta be really careful of the guys lifting the boxes. For the most part, their pattern's pretty easy. But there's gonna be always that one that's just gonna trip you up if you're not... Uh, if you're not careful. Because, of course, as we found out in the boar level in the first game, Naughty Dog loves to fake out players with, those, uh, with uh, obstacles like that. Okay. Eh. Oh, that was close. Ugh. Okay, I almost didn't jump. Glad I did. Nice. It's always the ones on the ice that are tricky. Uh, wow, I actually made it through that without dying. And I was right, there is a secret. So I'm just gonna hit this nitro box. I think... Let's see, I think that this is going to be a secret level and not one that we've already played. I could be wrong. But I think that this is going to be totally bare. It's air crash. Ah, it's air crash. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, the one in unbearable leads to totally bare. That's right. Well, enough wasting time here, I guess. Let's start air crash. Again. Alright, nothing back there, so it looks like we're clear to go. Wow. Yeah, no wonder we didn't get the box gem. Alright, there's 9. 10, 11, 12. Aw, oh, dang it. Alright, so so far there's like 13 boxes that we missed on this route. We'll have to see just how many there were that we missed. Ah! Oh. Alrighty then. This is getting uh, this is getting a little tense. I could probably grab those lives. I'm just not going to be that suicidal. Uh, okay. Seven, eight, nine. Thirteen. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare. Alright, forty-six. And then this will bring us to the entrance of the level, I believe. So we can just go from here. Does it mean, or did that mask sound a little more high-pitched than usual? Probably just me. Alright. So here we are once again. Again, ignoring the secret path there, which is fine. Okay, we're up to 53 lives, so not doing too shabby. Well on the way to 99 at this point. Oh yeah, that also reminds me. Remember how in the first game, guys, I mentioned that um, when you reload your game, you uh, always restart with only four lives? Well, this game actually is nice and lets you retain your lives every time you reload. So that's good. Alright, let's do this. And that. And that other thing. Alright, I think... Yes. Nice. Alright, so right on to 54 lives. Nah, 
have that. And now we play the waiting game. Doop, doop, doop. Boop. Yeah, that works. Ow. Oh, crap. Uh, heh. Ha. Ha ha. Uh, be careful. Okay, nice. Now I just have to not die. Very intense moment of concentration here, guys. So just bear with me. Oh, ended up on the fence. I don't think that's ever happened before. Yes. Okay. Awesome. I don't think that's the second warp room complete just yet. I could be wrong. I think there might have been something in the snow level, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not? Hold on. Let's just take a quick look around. Uh, no, actually, we're good. Alright, so I'm just gonna move back up to the third warp room. I'm gonna save the game, and that'll be all for today, guys. So, until next time, it's been Matt, and I will see you guys next week when we play more Crash 2 Cortex Strikes Back. We're at 40% exactly, we're two-fifths of the way there. We're doing awesome. See you guys.